We are here with uh, Simon Gionet, the director of Cayenne. Simon, thank you for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. Your short film plays with the mind of the spectator a little bit. And it's really hard to tell what part of the suspense and of the suspects you have on the characters comes from real elements and what part of it comes from the prejudices that you, your previous knowledge you know, about violence and, and women, on women gives you. And uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to know from you uh, during the writing what kind of effect you wanted to create on the spectator. And then mm -hmm. when you uh, went on directing the film, uh, how did you work on it? How did you improve your idea of, of suspense? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, well, the feeling, the, the, the main feeling that I wanted to convey was this sort of sense of, of apprehension that a woman can experience in her everyday life. So the, the feeling of not really knowing if you can trust someone else's intentions um, and the difficulty also to um, to 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 know how um, what makes someone trustable and what trustworthy and what makes someone <laughs> as suspicious, you know, on what basis, on what terms do you take that decision, you know, about giving your trust? Um, and so I I I wanted also to to, to convey that feeling. I wanted also to play with um, ideas that we have about suspense or and 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 um, also uh, social conventions or social social constructs that we have so for instance the fact that the film is in a gas station at night it already sets a specific tension because we're aware that so many uh, um, robberies, aggressions, and things happen, things like that happen in a gas station at night. So from the moment on, choosing from, from just a place in itself sets attention. And then I wanted to, um, there's also the, 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 um, the cameras around the gas station, which also conveys the idea that maybe that something's gonna happen. So that's so that's the way that the setting of the film sort of like plays uh, enhances attention, um, but also, um, yeah, I wanted to put the spectator in the position of the female clerk who is trying to decide whether she should trust or not the driver, and so the driver he he hacks and he talks in a way that you don't really know his his intentions at first, and so. And you, and I mean, he, he says things, I guess, that a lot of men can say in the public space to us, to a woman. And so, yeah, I wanted to, to play the spectator in sort of that position where you have to decide uh, on the basis of the, of the actions and of the, 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 the words uh, that, that the men say, uh, like, am I, gonna, am I gonna trust him? And if I trust him, am I taking the, the right decision? So, yeah. We are, we are in a world that uh, basically has left us uh, all connected, but all alone by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, it recently happened to me that I was actually um, uh, molested on a metro station by another man. And I understood for the first time that, that it was really like something that changes your perception of the world. Because now when I go on a, in a metro, I think, okay, this can happen again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this, this kind of uh, uh, mental space uh, is already in the background of what we feel when we watch a film. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know about uh, how you wrote the female character because you know she's a, she works at a gas station, she knows about cars, so you kind of put some elements that could create conflict and how you then proceed to find the right actress for the, for the role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... Yeah, of course, you're always working with and working against your viewers' expectations and, uh, in a way, prejudices. And <laughs> like, so, so I knew that um, if um, I, I knew I wanted a female clerk, a female character that um, would a bit uh, divert from 
some of the stereotypes we expect. So for, for instance, we usually, I mean, we usually expect that a man knows more about mechanics than a woman. We expect that usually a man would work at a gas station at night. But from what I discovered from my own research is that there's a lot of female clerk that works the, the, that works the, the night shift in gas station. I mean, in, in Quebec or I don't know in Canada, but in Quebec, like I've seen it a lot of times. So, um, so yeah, so I wanted to have a female character who, um, well, first of all, who sort of have a, a confidence. She's, she knows about mechanics. She's, she's not at first frightened by the, 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 the man that comes by, but she's suspicious about him. Um, so, 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 so I, I wanted to, to create a sort of tension between two characters uh, and, 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 and a way to create a, 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 a in, in my perspective, a way to create a great tension is to have two characters that they are sort of, I wouldn't say equals necessarily in terms of power, but like, I mean, the film and clerk, she, she, she was able to take the decision to leave or not the gas station. She was not like coerced at first of to leave. You know? She had the ability to say, no, I'm not going out. You know? uh, so, so that was important to me that like, it's a conscious decision that she takes to leave because she has a knowledge to help the driver and she decides to trust him. But by the time that she's leaving the gas station, she's starting to doubt. Um, so yeah, so I wanted her to like take the, the decision of leaving, uh, which is not a decision that, uh, I mean, all viewers would have taken, I guess. But uh, I feel that her character, it was, possible for her to decide that okay maybe this driver is really in need of help and uh, I'm gonna go out to help him and that's when doubts the doubts uh, are coming in yeah and about the the direction of the film uh, in which way you enhanced this uh, sensation of suspect through the use of the camera uh, well, first of all, I mean the camera always most mostly follows always the, the female the female character. So we're always from her point of view. There's a traveling shot in the film where we we feel the camera is the camera is behind her, but we feel the sort of like apprehension that she feels like she she knows that the driver is behind her, but she does she doesn't know where he is exactly. She just want to go straight towards the gas station. So that's that's a way to convey her fear, but. Uh, also through the film we always see the camera like we always see things from her point of view and we see the exchange of looks between her and the driver um, so she feels the gaze of the man throughout the film so that was also another way to like convey tension and there was also the CTV so the camera the cameras around the gas station they, they leave they let they leave you with the impression that something's going to happen something's going to be recorded that night but in the end it's not necessarily what we expect, yeah. And then one, one last thing. Uh, eventually, the film that is works like a thriller, you know, uh, because mm -hmm. it has the, you know, the, the writing and the direction of a thriller, but eventually it becomes a film on gender roles because mm -hmm. uh, it makes you, uh, it really makes you think about how a, a woman might feel in some situations and uh, the, the the words that the man tells her um, about, for example, the comment he makes about cars, uh, kind of make you understand how uh, violence is, first of all, an attempt to uh, keep and save a system of power and tradition that somebody has. Mm -hmm. So in the end, the film becomes uh, like a, a, a kind of gender film. Can we like say this kind of word? And, sure. Uh, uh, I really love it, this this combination, you know, of uh, thriller and uh, and genre because uh, it, the na the narrative in the last years has changed a lot. And uh, I recently watched uh, rewatched the Dawn of the Living Dead. I don't know if you. No, I haven't. Watched. Yeah, and in that film, for example, which is a horror film the the male character is all, always saving the the girl 
that is mm-hmm. unable to drive, unable to fight, unable to, and it's just saved and saved and saved by this by this man. Well, now we are seeing more and more these female characters that are actually uh, acting in uh, on the story in a with you know with strength with the uh, with the character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no, but I'm, I'm happy that you're saying that because in the end, if we like resume the film, like the action is in, in the film is quite. I mean, it's 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 quite banal or like simple in a way. It's just two characters, one is going out of a gas station to help someone else with a scar. But then when you had the gender dynamics uh, and the violence that are that is behind those dynamics, that's when the tension comes in. Uh, and so that's what I wanted to explore, sort of explore in this film is, um, I mean, in an ideal world, like, <laughs> Whether you're a woman or you're, or man, you should you, you should be able to get out and help someone else with a scar without having the fear of being attacked, you know. Uh, but but then, yeah, at, at the end of the film, you're. I, I sort of wanted to convey this that feeling that this 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 is this is something that I guess we would wish for as a society but like it's 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 we're far from we're far from being in that position right now because i mean as a woman you have these past experiences and when you and when you meet someone else that that that's uh, when you meet some uh, another man in a alone in the public space at night especially it's it conveys so many past experiences and feelings that that obviously you you will be on your guard and so yeah so there there was a yeah um, and one last question for you how how do you think that uh, your being a male telling this story has influenced the film in a positive or negative way i don't know i think it's positive of course but how do you think that it it has influenced the story because of course one would expect a story like this told from a woman but Mm -hmm. you're, you're a male director so uh how do you think that changed in some way or influenced the story Mm-hmm. Um, well, at first the story, I mean, the, the, the story was born when I started, when, when I, through, extent, uh, through conversations that I had with female friends, especially one of my female friends who experienced something similar, not something in a gas station at night, but she experienced the, the same feeling as the female clerk, like she was alone in a public space. And, and so when we talked about it, what, what struck me was that even though it was, even though the violence was coming from the, the gaze of the man, like she, he was like looking at her constantly, she, at the end of the day, she was feeling guilty. She was feeling bad because she was feeling like, like it, like she had a, a sort of responsibility in, in the fact that the man looked at her, like she felt guilty about it, or, and she felt guilty to not respond uh, in a, more proactive way like she 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 wished she would have said to him stop or but she she didn't so and so this sort of like there was like a lot of conflictual feelings about her experience and that's what sort of struck me and i and i thought that maybe i could try to create a situation where like those feelings can be conveyed and so and what's so 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 interesting answer your question i so I, I really approach the film by through the experiences of, 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 of women around me and I talked <laughs> I talked to them and I send them the, send them the script and I wanted to know like if it was realistic so there's that um, but as a male director I think um, maybe what interested me also is like um, I think it, the main actress Marianne, she told me a story um, like she, uh, she 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 talked to me about a conversation she had with, with a male friend and the male friend was saying one night I was walking in the street in Montreal and and I was walking near a, a woman and the woman was like she, she was sort of frightened but I was just walking beside her you know and then at, uh, and then her, her male friend was like oh maybe I should have like just walked the other way of the street just to 
but I, 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 I thought that was interesting. Also, it's like as a man, like you're, 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 you have to like take in consideration that your actions can be interpreted sometimes in a different, not light, but like you need to take in consideration that there is like uh, that that some action, some gesture, even just like walking. You, you in some way you have to contribute as a male in creating a, a space that is where people feel safe yeah. yeah or you have to think about it but and then you have to also and so for, for when when she, she told me that i was like oh it's interesting because it's like you might say something or might do something and, and it, it might be not interpreted in the way you think um and so i also wanted to play with that a little bit what I mean by that is I wanted to have a, char a male character that comes by and you don't know at first if it should be um, trustworthy or not. And he acts like he's nice, but at the same time, he's a bit awkward. And then he says some things that, you know, makes you question whether you should trust him or not. But at first, you're not really sure if he's really a, a good guy quote unquote that really needs help with his car or um so yeah so that that's maybe um I, I, I maybe the fact of i don't know maybe the fact of being a male director led me to like no i don't know i don't i to be honest i don't really see like a, a difference a di not a difference like i'm i'm aware of the fact that <laughs> but i I haven't like theorized this that much. Like I was just trying to make the, the film the most realistic way possible. But one thing that I wanted to know to do for sure is to have a dynamic between two characters that leave the audience in a position of doubt. Uh, but I think that a female director could have done the same thing, you know? Uh, I'm, yeah. So thank you for, uh, for your answers, Simon. And uh, thank you for your film. I uh, hope that the public will appreciate it and uh, see you see you soon. A big hug and hello from all the festivals. <laughs> Thank you and I'm happy to be part of this festival. Thank you.